how to sell digital products on google sites step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can sell your digital products on google sites so i like to use shopify for this because shopify is a simple and easy to use platform that enables you to sell your products and i'm going to show you guys how you can actually link your shopify and directly land people on your checkout page from google sites so we have this site over here and i want to link a digital product so first i'm going to go into shopify and i'm going to go into products click on add product and then let's say this is makeup guide 101 like this and then i can add some media files to represent my product so let's say it's this one over here and then after that i can add a description as well i can enter the price of the product and then after that we have the quantity options now i don't want the quantity options because this is going to be a digital product so you guys can see we are going to uncheck this option of whether this is a physical product since it's not and then once you have completed your information you're going to click on save on the bottom right now this is just our the creation of our digital product now after we have created this digital product we're going to go into settings on the bottom left and then we're going to go into apps and sales channels on the left panel over here. Then you're going to click on the Shopify app store on the top right. Now from here, we're going to be downloading a application that will enable us to sell our digital product from Shopify onto Google sites. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this section over here and we're going to search for buy button. Now, a lot of people might ask, hey, if this is going to lead people to the Shopify product page, like what's the point in that? No, this tool will actually lead people directly to a checkout. They won't necessarily see your Shopify store. So you don't have to even set up your Shopify store. You can leave it as it is and you can just create this buy button that will lead people directly to checkout. So you don't have to figure out how to work with Shopify. So you're going to go ahead and search for buy button over here. And once you search for buy button, you're going to click on buy button channel. Now you're going to click on install over here the developer should be shopify this is the one that i like to use personally and then from here you're going to click on install or add sales channel on the top right now once you do that this will show you the sales channel on the left panel over here so you're going to click on pin to navigation to make it easier for you to access and you can sell any kind of product now on google sites so to add your digital product onto google sites we're going to click on create a buy button over here now, once you do that, you're going to click on buy button. So for the product, now you have two options. You can do this for collections as well. So if you have a collection of digital products, if you have a wide array of digital products, you can actually link the entire collections page, but we're going to go with the product buy button. Now, once you click on this, this will show you all of the products that you have added in your Shopify store. So that is why we're going to select our makeup guide 101. And then you're going to click on select over here. Now, once you do that, this will show you the view. How it's going to appear in Google Sites is going to be shown to you. Now, this is a classic or full view. You can get a basic view as well. And then on the bottom, you have the action when people click. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then you're going to click on direct to checkout. And then this is going to lead people directly to the checkout. They are not going to be, you know, shown multiple different things. It will lead them directly to the checkout section. So I'm going to click on directly to checkout over here and then you have your button style so you can uh, choose different styles if you want a larger button if you want rounded corners on it the color of your button can be customized from here as well so you can pick out like a pink color or a purple color like this and then after that we have our typography which is basically your font style and then you also have the style and the size of your font now after that you have your layout so in your layout you're going to see your image size i want to keep it small the alignment of the image let's say we want to move it to the left or center and then we have the button text for us it says buy now i think i'm going to continue with that then you have your product title and product price colors and then you have the typography for that as well 
Now, after that, you have the detailed pop-up and advanced settings, so you can choose your checkout behavior. If you want the Google Sites page to directly open the checkout page, or if the checkout page should be opened in a new tab. Now, I want to redirect in the same tab, so I'm going to keep these settings, and now you're just going to click on Next. Now, once you do that, you're going to find this code over here, and you want to click on Copy Code. Now you're going to go into Google Sites. Now open up your Google Sites editor and once you click on Google Sites, you're going to click on Embed over here. Now once you click on Embed, you want to click on Embed Code and then you're going to paste the code that you copied and click on Next over here. Now once you do, click on Insert and this will insert the widget. Now you're going to expand this a little to make it fit in like this. So we've just expanded our section like this and we can just place it wherever we want. Now you can choose a different layout if you don't like this longitudinal layout. You can enter images from Google Sites over here as well. So let's say I'm going to move this, you know, to the top. I can do that as well. You can, you know, directly move it into the header. Now, keep in mind, if you have a header image that is dark, you want to, you might want to change the color of your widget. So for that, I can go back into my keep customizing section. Then I'm going to click on my layout and then the product title colors. I'm going to convert these to white instead. And then I'm going to click on next, click on copy code, and then go back into Google Sites. And then I'm going to click on embed, click on embed code, and then we're going to paste it over here and click on next, click on insert. And now the text colors will be white. So once I move it to the header over here, I want to resize it a little like this. And as you guys can see, it's a lot more visible now because I've, you know, changed up the colors and it's easier for people to read. Now you can customize a lot with this. You have a lot of customization with these buy buttons. And once you have completed your customizations and the placement of your buy buttons on your Google Sites page, you're going to click on publish on the top right and click on publish once more. Now, once you do that, make sure to click on view published site to be able to see the buy button. If it's functional, if I click on buy now, let's say where it's going to lead me currently it's not connecting because i haven't saved my settings on shopify but once we have you know made sure that our shopify store is up and running because it is pretty essential that your online store is actually running right now so once you have actually, you know, set up your Shopify store and if it's password protected, make sure to remove password protection before you add these links. So we're going to make sure everything is live and going into our product section, we're going to go into the makeup guide product. And yeah, this is functional now. So let's take a look on whether or not this is connecting right now now make sure that if it's not connecting you can go back into the embed code section and you can go back into your sales channels on shopify go into your buy button once more and create the buy button again if it has any technical difficulties usually it does work in the first time unless you have some issues in your shopify store so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to add your digital product or sell your digital product on google sites with the integration of shopify into your store if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions queries or if there's anything that i left out make sure to leave that in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say and i will catch you guys in the next video.